Now in the new age of food insecurity, such as we find ourselves now in the uh, coronavirus episode of uh, our lifetimes here, uh, it's good to know like what you can eat and what you can't, right? That might be growing around. Well, you can eat that right there. You can get raw, you can cook it, scramble it up in your eggs. You can do anything you want to it. Um, now, what am I eating? I'm eating an apuntia, 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 O-P-U-N-T-I-A, apuntia, like that. So, um, now, apuntia is a type of cactus. Uh, here we have a more thornless variety, and uh, we have, there's all kinds of different apuntias. Uh, this one here is uh, called ficus indica, because it actually gets a fig-like fruit right here. These fruits will plump and out. They'll get really colorful, usually a purple, and uh, it'll be a really delicious thing to eat. And it has a very beautiful flower. In fact, you can see the, the remnants of the flower here. So beautiful, look how, how pretty that is. Um, and uh, eventually you'll end up with, uh, here I'll even grab the camera and uh, take over the whole thing myself and get a close up of a fruit that is uh, getting a little bigger. And that looks a little bit like a fig. So ficus is fig, uh, indica is, is Indian, and, uh, and Jerry Bear is going to hold the camera now. Um, so, Apuntia is the genus. Ficus indica is the species. Ficus meaning fig-like because of the fruit. Indica meaning, I guess, Indian because Columbus was so dumb. He thought he was in India when he really was in the Americas. And he called it India and it messed all the nomenclature up. The people who lived here. It's a big mess. It's a big mess. You can look it up. But anyway, Ficus indica. Now, um, this plant has so many uses, I can't even tell you. First and foremost, it doesn't require any water whatsoever, and it's the easiest thing to grow ever. I bet you, if I look hard enough, I can find a fallen leaf that is rooted in the ground, uh, and it looks like I'm lucky. There's one right here. No one's going to miss this, I don't think. Uh, so, look at this. <laughs> a leaf hits the ground, and it roots, and it makes a new ficus india indica apuntia, which basically means a new food source or somebody else come on. So, anyway, it's that easy to grow. You don't need to starve, plant these things everywhere. So, the, uh, the soft, more succulent new growth is better than anything else. It's vegetative, you eat it raw, you know, put in your salad. There's all kinds of Mexican dishes for this. They actually sell it in the store. I don't know why they sell it, it's so easy to grow. But anyway, uh, the other thing is like, every part of the plant's edible, it's not toxic or anything like that. If you have tortoises, they love this stuff. Now, out on the islands of, um, off of Ecuador, Galapagos. The, the, <laughs> help me here. Galapagos. The Galapagos. The Galapagos Islands. The tortoises out there literally live on Apuntia cactus. You see them on the Nature Channels just eating away. And we actually have a few of these uh, big tortoises, and we feed these things all the time with this plant. In fact, we planted a plant in their pit, so they could actually just go up and have their own hors d'oeuvre uh, before dinner. And a uh, little bar they can go to, salad bar. Uh, so you have the fruit, the fruit's really sweet and succulent. You have the uh, new growth, which you can use all kinds of different uses for. In fact, the new growth is called nopales. If you want to like look on a Mexican uh, menu, you'll find uh, dishes that are made with nopales. That, that's what they're talking about right here. Okay, and uh, the plant obviously it's a, it can be a big screen. It could be a big focal point. What's also interesting and fun about the plant, you can actually take this plant and cut holes in it, make faces in it, and everything else. It'll heal itself out. And it will, um, I'm going to get my cameraman to be more dynamic and move around, make it interesting. All right. Or I'm going to fire him. I'm not paying him anything, so I don't know if I can really fire him. But anyway, if you make little faces with eyes and a big mouth, you know, you can do some fun things with this plant and it'll just heal over and it'll be fine. Let's see if we can find a piece that has healed over. Uh, I don't really see. Well, here's one sort of, uh, you can see it's just all healed over, you know, no problem. And so, uh. So that's what you can do. You can make any, any kind of shapes out of these things. Um, they're a little bit invasive because they'll fall down and just root. So you got to be careful about that. This variety here is known for being nearly spineless. However, there are some spines on it. They're very small. You want to wear some gloves when you're handling this plant or the fruit. And, um, and when you handle the fruit, what you probably want to do, here's a fruit right here. Uh, what you probably want to do, and I probably can eat this right now. Oh, this is gonna be rough though. I don't have anything. I need a rock. If you can get a rock, you can take off all the little hairy, see all the little hairy thorns on that? 
Those things are going to get in your skin. They'll be there for an entire day. And they'll be the biggest nuisance you can imagine. Um, and you can get rid of most or all of those. And you can bust open this fruit. And I'll show you kind of what's inside. Uh, I don't know if this is ripe or not, but I will eat it anyway. Just because it'll make for a better video. Like, ah! Mmm! It's absolutely delicious! Mmm! Yeah. They should have called it Ficus Deliciosa. Anyway, so there's the fruit. You got fruit. You got the leaves you can eat. You got the big thing you can feed to the tortoise. You can screen your neighbor if they got a, you know, somebody you don't want to look at next door. Right, here's the really interesting thing. All right. You can even create your own dye, like the prettiest dye ever. And it's from, it is from a little tiny bug that lives exclusively on this plant. It's called cochineal. And here it is. Those are actually live little bugs. I'm about to execute a couple of them because I want to show you the dye that is made from their bodies when their bodies explode. Okay. Now this, this product here was discovered by the Spanish when they first came out to the Americas and they, they discovered this dye. And at the time it was the only color like this anywhere in the world. You take these off. Now look, it was the only color like this in the world. Look at that rich, beautiful, royal red color. I guess you call that red. But uh, for like a hundred years, the Spanish kept it a secret where they were getting this stuff from in Europe and they made a ton of money selling this dye. You can see how much dye was created just from a tiny little bit of cochineal. And so I don't really need to dye anything here, but uh, maybe I'll just make some more paint, you know, make it more interesting of a video like this. Uh, I bet the Native Americans used to do that a little bit. So, I mean, think about this. You got, you got war paint, You've got vegetative material you can eat. You can screen your ugly neighbor out. Uh, you can feed your tortoises. You can feed the leaves yourself. And it doesn't require any water. And it's the easiest thing to grow on earth. And it won't cost you anything. None of us need to starve. None of us need to look at our ugly neighbor. And none of us need to have bland white clothing or faces that are uninteresting without war paint.